How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I have for you guys a Ranked Seasons gameplay once again. I'm going to be using a similar team that I did in the last video, but the difference is we have Blake Snell on the mound who is making his debut. We have Jonathan Scope in the lineup as well. I wanted to complete that Baltimore Orioles collection and unlock that Jonathan Scope because of his arm strength and he also has diamond hitting. He's a pretty solid second baseman and he won't be affected by inside edge, so it, just in case if somebody is down or something, then I'll... I'll have them and then in this situation Ozzy Albies was down so I did go ahead and start scope but uh, to start the game off I had a home run with Ronald Acuna the second at bat of the game and then standing up once again I just missed that one I've had a tough time using this card a little bit I'm one for five with them so far and that clip kind of glitched out a little bit but he did make that catch he disappointed had some pretty good diamonds he had Altuve he had a couple good solid gold cards he had some silvers in there he had a good mix of players he had the Andrew Jones. This is the 91 overall Andrew Jones in center field. Definitely a good card. And I've completed the uh, first inning moments and bosses and all that. I completed all that stuff. So I'm I'm getting there. I want to get that Andrew Jones. I want to try out the Cy Young. I want to try out the Goose Gossage and everything. But I have not quite uh, finished that program quite yet. I didn't do the Conquest either. But there I was able to get out of the inning. Still have the one run lead. And here we have uh, Matt Olson up at the plate. And I sat on that one. Hit it below the zone. But it was right to the left fielder. That Matt Olson is a really good budget first baseman. If you guys are looking to get a, a guy like that, he has a lot of power. He's up on inside edge versus right. He'll have over 100 power because his base stat is 98. Another good budget player to get is Cody Bellinger. I noticed he was kind of down on inside edge yesterday, so I picked him up. And I uh, haven't tried him out yet, but I might do that in the next video or something like that. So there was Jonathan Scopes first at bat. I grounded out to third base. It was a rocket, but... It was right to him. I hit the ball hard, which is all I'm looking for, really. And uh, so far in this one, I, we only have one hit each. The one hit for me being a home run. Now I have Billy Hamilton up. I was able to freeze him on strike three looking that previous at bat. And this Billy Hamilton has been absolutely amazing for me. I power swung on that one, hit it into the gap. That was launched. That did not look like anybody with 30-something power. I mean, he has 60-something contact, but he is playing up on inside edge as well. So he's like 70-40s guy, and he's got the 97 speed with amazing defense, so I couldn't pass him up. Figured I would go with Billy Hamilton, and I was able to manufacture that run. After getting out with my pitcher, I ripped a base hit to right field with Trevor Story. Definitely a good way to continue on the inning. And then I uh, killed the inning entirely with a double play from Ronald Acuna. I needed to pull that baseball and get under it and hit it to the left field. Uh, like I did in the first at bat, hit it over the left field wall. I, I mean, a nice line drive would have been, would have been perfect. But there, Acuna is unable to make the play. That was his pitcher hitting, and he just kind of blooped one in there. I figured I'd make a diving effort because I had Billy Hamilton right behind the left fielder there. If uh, I didn't have Billy Hamilton in center field, that probably would have cost me a run for making that diving effort. Here, I, I don't know what I did. I throw canceled. I tried to throw it to the cutoff man, and then I, wanted, I thought I could get him at third base, so I tried to do that. It just didn't work out for me, but he was able to score the run. And facing Andrew Jones, I got him to pop up to Pablo Sanchez, who will indeed be a diamond after this game. This is the last few innings of online play before I get the 85 diamond. I am going to be choosing the power focus catcher, and he should be uh, very good. Should have 90 power for me, and it should be very effective. I'm almost, I'm almost there to unlocking the uh, maxed out creative player, which will be even better. At an 89 overall, he'll be pretty much in the 90s after the equipment is applied i will make a video once i do unlock him i'm about 40 something innings away from that but i wanted to uh include this at bat here from joey gallo he's always a huge threat we have blake snell on the mound i really did like this blake snell uh trying him out through the first couple innings here he's been pretty effective a little bit wild but for the most part his off speed pitches like the change up slider curveball i was really able to locate those much better than i was the fastball at least early on in this game but I'm trying to establish the confidence with the fastball, so I'm, that's why I'm throwing it here a little bit more. I was able to get the chase from Joey Gallo up in the zone, chase for strike three, and now I'm looking to get him to chase again for another strikeout. I'm going with the changeup low and inside. I noticed that this opponent was sitting on the heat, and he was uh, struggling with the off speed a little bit. Some of the sliders that I threw over the middle of the plate, like that one, or that might have been a changeup, but some of the off speed pitches that I did throw over the middle of the plate, he was able to hit them. He was locked in on those, and some of the ones lower in the zone, he wasn't able to lay off, so that's what I was trying to attack. And here I, I still left in Blake Snell, even though he has a chance to tie up the game or even take the lead, but he lines out to Giancarlo Stanton there. And Stanton is pretty pretty good out there in right field. I mean, 
Of course, Aaron Judge is, has the better fielding and right field and the better arm strength, but I wanted to try out at least Giancarlo Stanton first because he did have more vision. He had more uh, better quirks, in my opinion. I think he has more of them as well, but better quirks that I like to use. And there, I just missed that one with Trevor Story. That one was a fly or a, a fly ball to the first baseman, but it was up in the zone. I didn't get the PCI quite to it or my barrel of the bat uh, on top of the baseball. Try to tomahawk that one into the gap. This one was a little bit of a late swing with the Ronald Acuna. Hit it to right field. And that's the thing. I noticed I get a lot of base hits with him the other way. A lot of base hits down the right field line. But the power where I've hit home runs, have they've all, mostly always been pulled. I think I've only hit one opposite field homer with that Acuna. But definitely one of my best hitters. I'm not going to... He's not going anywhere anytime soon. He's playing left field. I just hope that he throws out a lot of people this year and plays an amazing defense in real life. So that way he gets upgraded on defense and becomes a diamond. But here is Josh Donaldson is up on inside edge as well on righties, and he sends that one deep. I think he had almost 99 power versus righties uh, with today anyway. But he sends a double, and this is a 2-2 game. He tied it up with Gallo earlier on. I'm not looking for him to uh, take the lead. I only have a couple hits in this one. Kind of a barn burner, but still a great game all around. I'm definitely hitting the ball hard. I'm just they're not finding the they're not finding the grass out there. That one, I thought I got that one. I thought it was a home run, but uh, flew out to the warning track as Andrew Jones tracks that one down. Andrew Jones was a really big time. He was a big time beast in this game, tracking down fly balls left and right. But there, 23 speed, Josh Donaldson is able to beat it out because he also canceled the throw one time. So everybody's going to make mistakes. I'm going to try to take advantage of it. And I brought in Alberto Mondesi as a pinch runner. And I'm going first to home on this play. And he got that ball in pretty quickly and I, I was thrown out 94 speed Carlos Correa guns him out at the plate definitely worth it to take that chance though because I would have had to get another base hit and I had the bottom of my lineup coming up but I mean hindsight of course because I got thrown out I would think all right well maybe next time I'm not going to risk it but this late in the game I have to risk it right there especially because I did a hit and run but there Billy Hamilton once again power swing ripping one down the left field line for a single I went ahead and stole second on a pitch that I really should have hit. It was a slider right over the middle of the plate. I probably could have sent it out, but that was the pitch I chose to go on. I didn't want to hit into a double play. So later on in the at-bat, I flew out to right field. I'm able to advance him, but that's not going to get the job done. It's the top of the eighth inning. I don't want the opponent to have the chance to put the pressure on me in the bottom of the eighth where I have to score in the top of the ninth, but I wasn't able to get that ball into the gap. Andrew Jones tracks it down. Trevor Story is retired there. And uh, now we brought in... Pat Neshek, he's a very good pitcher. I faced him one time, and once I faced him, I was like, wow, this card's really good. He throws a 90 mile an hour sinker, and then a really slow change up at 69, 70 miles an hour. Very effective card. He's always been really good in MLB The Show, but this year, even more so, I noticed right away that because of that sinker, that slider, that change up combination, you can even throw the fastball in there every now and then, but that sinker is really effective inside the righties, throwing the change up. Uh, inside, low and inside, low and away, the slider low and away, just a very good card. But in the top of the ninth inning, we already have one down, and Giancarlo Stanton is ripping one into the right center field gap just out of Andrew Jones' reach. That's going to be a great way to start this inning off with the guy on second base. He went ahead and walked Pablo Sanchez, which actually gave me a mission and unlocked some stars towards that first inning program, which is awesome that you, you're able to complete some of these things in the actual game while you play. It lets you know that you completed them. And uh, hopefully I'll have some rewards at the end of this video because of that. Who knows? But anyway, I wasn't able to get the job done there with Mondesi. Even though Mondesi, my creative player, had the same swing. He walked my creative player, which is a smart move. That card's one of my best hitters. And then I popped up with Mondesi, not able to get the job done. And I, I would have had Josh Donaldson up if I didn't pinch run for him earlier. But I figured I'd take that chance. And with two outs, bases loaded... I'm able to send one deep with Jonathan Scope in his debut off the wall. That's going to be a bases clearing triple. He was unable to field it correctly out there in right field. Took a good bounce off the wall and I was able to get to third. Now I have Billy Hamilton up once again. I'm looking for a power swing, trying to do some damage. And that ball is sent out, but not far enough. Doesn't have enough power. Not enough muscle on Billy Hamilton for that one. But here we go. We go down into the bottom of the ninth inning, and this guy was kind of struggling with Pat Neshek, so I figured I would leave him in, but he sends a solo shot out with Josh Donaldson on the circle change up low and inside there. He got the barrel of the bat down onto it, squared up, 105 exit velocity, no doubt home run. Figured I would go with the sinker up and inside, trying to get ahead in, this, in the count there. I think that's crucial late in the game when, when you're up by a few runs, trying to uh, stop the opponent from making a comeback. You want to get ahead in the count. You want to be able to expand the zone by doing so. 
And uh, that's exactly what I did there. 0-2 through a circle change. Able to get the strike out there to end it. We take the, the dub 5-3, to three, and that's going to be a great game. I mean, great game from from the opponent. We move up to 595 rating at 13-2 and two record. And uh, so far, I mean, I got a common card. I had a chance at a gold. But here we go. We got the catcher, diamond, power focus, one. I'm going to go ahead and select this guy. And then we also have a couple packs here. So hopefully I can get somebody good. We got these from the first inning program through the xp reward path i'm a bronze level 30 so and there it is there's a diamond okay let's go that's my second diamond pull the first diamond i got was steven strasberg 107 home runs 326 rbis who's it gonna be come on who's it gonna be i don't even know who has 100 homers all right so chicago cubs is it baez is it chris bryant who has more home runs i'm not sure but i'm down either one either one of those guys is gonna be amazing let's go i'm pressing circle here we go come on now Come on, KB, all right, let's go. That's Chris Bryant, that's gonna be awesome. 85 overall, playing up to an 87. This card's an absolute beast. There he is doing a handstand. That is amazing, man. I'm gonna go ahead and put this card in my lineup and make a debut video with him. So stay tuned for that. Can't believe I pulled the diamond, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you guys in the KB debut. Peace out.